So a couple of years ago, I was watching one of my favorite Pokemon YouTubers by the name of MNJTV. He uploaded a video that discusses his top 10 dual type Pokemon that could have 3 types instead of 2. While playing Mario Kart Tour, each character is given their own skill item, but some of the skill items don't fit the character right. And that got me thinking after watching Mikey's 3 type Pokemon video game recently. Welcome back to the observatory everybody, and in this video, I will be discussing what if Mario Kart Tour characters were given an additional skill item. Disclaimer, I know that Nintendo has done some dumb things to Mario Kart Tour, but they aren't dumb enough to give characters an additional skill item because it will never happen. Just like with Mikey's 3 type Pokemon video, that will make the game pretty unbalanced in terms of scoring points for ranked or ACR in Mario Kart Tour. This is just speculation and will never be confirmed. After going through the list of drivers that could have an additional skill item, it just so happens that I have found 29 characters in Mario Kart Tour that could be given a second skill item. These 29 drivers are in all categories from characters released prior to Exploration 2023, and I will be thoroughly discussing why they might have the extra skill item, based on their design and the role in the games that they have made an appearance in. Now, if many of you might think that this is a parody of the Skill Items Explained series I have been doing as there are new drivers introduced in new tours, you are right, because this is almost like my Skill Items Explained series, as I will be explaining why the character should have that extra item. So you make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're notified of all of my videos, and without further ado, here are 29 drivers in Marker Tour that could have two skill items. I will be going in category order based on driver list placement, meaning I'll be going top down. I didn't find any characters in the normal class category that could have two skill items, so I will be starting out with the super class category. The first being none other than Mario. Mario's skill item is the Fire Flower, which makes sense because it, the Fire Flower is the first power-up that Mario can possess in the 2D Mario games. But what if I told you he can also have the most broken item ever, Coin Box? Uh? I know the Coin Box is mostly reserved for high-end drivers, so it might be a bit ridiculous for Mario or any super class driver to have this item, but hear me out. In every single Mario game, 2D and 3D, he collects a ton of coins with 100 coins rewarding him a 1-up in the 2D and 3D games, and buys them for additional power-ups in the 3D games, or buying power moons or souvenirs in Super Mario Odyssey. And in Super Mario Odyssey and Bowser's Fury, you lose coins if you die, with 10 coins lost in Odyssey, and 50 coins lost in Bowser's Fury. So because of my reasoning with Mario collecting a lot of coins in the 2D and 3D Mario games, I can totally see him having Fire Flower and Coin Box as his two skill items. The next super class driver is Mario's brother, Luigi. Luigi's skill item is also the Fire Flower, but what if his second skill item was also what his baby counterpart has, Boomerang? I have two reasons why Luigi can also have the Boomerang. The first reason is Luigi's Tornado Ball and Bat in Super Mario Sluggers. Why does a tornado have to do with a boomerang? Tornadoes spin very fast just like a boomerang, and in Mario Kart Tour, the boomerang spins around the driver holding the skill item once or twice depending on the level of the driver. Another reason is the Ghostbuster-like backpack that Luigi uses to suck up ghosts in the Luigi's Mansion series the Poltergust 3000. In the Luigi's Mansion series, whenever Luigi uses the Poltergust 3000, a giant column of air, just like a tornado, spins very fast just like a boomerang. There is a common trend in Mario Kart Tour where there are characters that should have had an item that matches their personality, but they ended up with a different item instead. The next superclass character is actually a set of characters that don't have this particular item, though they should have because it's self-explanatory, and since it's in roster order, 
it's fair game. And let me tell you, it is exactly what you are thinking. That being Blue Yoshi and Pink Yoshi being Yoshi Eggless, with Blue Yoshi having Dash Ring and Pink Yoshi having Heart. Both of these Yoshis should also gain the Yoshi's Egg because they are Yoshis. And similarly, Blue Birdo doesn't have Birdo's Egg, the only colored Birdo prior to Exploration 2023 that doesn't have Birdo's Egg. Just like with Blue Yoshi, she has Dash Ring, so she could have both Dash Ring and Birdo's Egg for the same reason as Blue and Pink Yoshi. The rest of the Yoshis and Birdos in the Super Class category are excluded from this list as they have their respective eggs. But if I were to include them, with the exclusion of regular Yoshi and Birdo, I can totally see Orange Yoshi with Fire Flower, Light Blue Birdo with Ice Flower, Yellow Birdo with Giant Banana, and Orange Birdo with Fire Flower. And already, that concludes everybody in the Super Class category that could have two skill items. And now onto the High End category, and the list is quite the Lechonk. Quick note, me outfits are classified as High End Drivers, but after doing a thorough check, none of them don't need to have two skill items. So because of this, they are excluded from the list. So with that said, the first character in the high-end roster that could have two skill items is Santa Mario. Santa Mario has the Fire Flower, but he can also have the Coin Box. And this is my reasoning, which I have covered this as Santa Bowser's point in the high-end skill items part 1 explain video, the Coin Box act as Christmas presents meant to be unwrapped on Christmas. The high-end category has more of an unorganized roster than the super class roster, so there are characters that I wanted to group together, mainly the Yoshis and Birdos, but I can't as I'm going in roster order. With that said, Yoshi Reindeer is next up on the list. Yoshi Reindeer's main item is the Yoshi's Egg, but as I stated from the Super Class category that the colored Yoshis and Birdos don't count as they have Yoshi or Birdo's egg. However, I have a good explanation what second item that Yoshi Reindeer can have. Yoshi Reindeer can have both Yoshi's egg and Dash Ring because Reindeer have to travel super fast in order to have Santa deliver all the presents on time. I also showed one of my friends about Yoshi Reindeer having the potential of having Dash Ring, and he said that one of Santa's reindeer is named Dasher, something that completely went out of my brain. The next character is Black Yoshi, and this one is self-explanatory, so the explanation won't go too much detail. Just like with Blue and Pink Yoshis, Black Yoshi is one of the Yoshis in the high-end category that doesn't have Yoshi's Egg, but instead, Double Bombs. So I can see Black Yoshi having both Double Bombs and Yoshi's Egg. Mario Kart Tour introduced four Builder characters, three in the two Trick Tours, and one in the Mario vs. Luigi 2020 Tour. The Builder character's main skill item is the Hammer, except one and that being Builder Toad. Builder Toad's main item is the Bomb Cannon. If you see from his roster sprite, Builder Toad is carrying a hammer, so he can have both Bomb Cannon and Hammer just so he isn't left out with the other Builder characters. The next one, I got really hungry, and I wanted Mario Chef to help cook me something hot, but all I got was a cold platter. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That was supposed to be a pun, because Mario Chef's item is Lucky 7. But as stated from my pun, he can also have the Fire Flower. And my reasoning behind Mario Chef with Fire Flower can be a reference to my reasoning in the high-end skill items part 1 explained with Peach Halloween having this item. Witches use fire as their heat source to brew up potions. Chefs mostly use heat to fix up meals. Plus, Mario Chef's outfit was introduced in Super Mario Odyssey, and you can get this outfit with the use of purple coins in the Luncheon Kingdom. And that place 
is surrounded with lava and lava bubbles. And it just so happens that Peach Halloween is next up on this list. As stated, her main item is the Fire Flower. But what if she also has the Dash Ring? Her outfit, as well as Rosalina Halloween, are based off of Witch's outfits. They both have their own set of Zoom Brooms in the Sky Tour. With the Cosmic Broom for Rosalina Halloween, and the Magma Broom for Peach Halloween. I know it doesn't mean anything because Peach Halloween and Rosalina Halloween were debuted before Sky Tour, so what are you gonna do about it? Witches are known to fly really fast on brooms. I mean, Rosalina Halloween already has Dash Ring, so why not Peach Halloween? Peach Halloween isn't the only Halloween character to be on this list. Mario Halloween is next up. Mario Halloween has Lucky 7, but what if he also has the Bomb Cannon? This is my reasoning. Mario's Halloween costume is trying to make him look scary, with the vampire cape, the pumpkin head, and the vampire teeth. Bomb Cannon is one of, if not the most scariest item to dodge. Heck, even Waluigi Vampire, who has vampire teeth and the vampire cape, has Bomb Cannon. The next character is Pauline Rose. Pauline Rose's main item is the Fire Flower, but what if she could also have the Heart as her second item? I stated in my High End Skill Item Explained Part 1 video that in Pauline Rose's arms is a bouquet of roses. However, this is where the Heart item can come into effect. Roses symbolize love. Pauline Rose debuted in the Peach vs. Daisy tour, which fell around Valentine's Day. Mario Kart Tour didn't just debut for Builder Drivers, they also introduced Penguin Drivers. Penguin Luigi in the Ice Tour, Penguin Toad in the Snow Tour, Penguin Mario in the Frost Tour, and Penguin Toadette in the Penguin Tour. Every single one of these Penguin characters has the Ice Flower, except for one, Penguin Toad. Just like with his Builder counterpart, Penguin Toad is the only Penguin character that doesn't have an item that the other Penguin characters have. Penguin Toad's main item is the Dash Ring, so I can totally see Penguin Toad having Dash Ring and Ice Flower, so he isn't left out with his Penguin Buddies, just like Builder Toad being left out with his Builder Buddies by being the only Builder Driver that has an item that the other Builder Drivers don't. The next character are three Yoshis grouped together. White Yoshi, Yoshi King Roo, and Yoshi Gold Egg. And I did say I was going in roster order because Yoshi Gold Egg goes after the next driver I'm listing. So I am breaking the code, but this one is self-explanatory, so I have to break it at least once. So because this is self-explanatory, I won't go too much into detail. Just like with Black Yoshi and the Super Class Yoshis, White Yoshi, Yoshi King Roo, and Yoshi Gold Egg don't have Yoshi's egg. Instead, White Yoshi has triple mushrooms, Yoshi Kangaroo has boomerang, and Yoshi Gold Egg has coin box. Like I said, self-explanatory. The next character is placed before Yoshi Gold Egg, but here he is now. Mario Aviator. Mario Aviator is based off of a pilot, and pilots fly planes really fast, or if you are a show-off pilot, you can fly planes through rings, which might understand why Mario Aviator has Dash Ring. But, what if I told you he would have had the Boomerang, which I thought that would, would be his item because of the use of propellers on the front of the stump planes, and they spin really fast. As they with Luigi's Boomerang explanation, Boomerangs also spin very fast, just like a propeller on a plane. The next character is one of the two cat characters that doesn't make sense why they don't have the Super Bell. And since it's in roster order, the first is Cat Luigi. In Super Mario 3D World, in order for each of the playable characters to transform into their catter parts, they need the Super Bell. Cat Luigi doesn't have the Super Bell, but instead, he has the Gigabomb. Which I kinda understand about the reasoning of the Gigabomb, which High End Skill Items Part 2 will be after this video. 
But it would have been better if Cat Luigi had Super Bowl to begin with. The next character is White Tanuki Mario. White Tanuki Mario was introduced in the Sunday Tour, and he was given the giant banana, which I thought was pretty funny to see him have this item, because since he was introduced in the Sunday Tour, introducing Sky High Sunday and Mario Kart Tour, White Tanuki Mario was given giant banana, and I can't stop thinking about banana splits and White Tanuki Mario's outfit being a scoop of vanilla ice cream. But along with giant banana, I thought that since White Tanuki Mario is technically a Tanuki outfit, Tanuki Leaf works far better for White Tanuki Mario. Now I get it that the Tanuki Leaf is a brown colored leaf, but the White Tanuki Leaf that debuted in Super Mario 3D Land is nothing more than a white and yellow colored Tanuki Leaf. The next characters are two characters combined, and they happen to be in roster order. and. They are gold characters that don't have coin box, but should've. I won't go into much in the detail, as the reasoning is already self-explanatory. Gold Dry Bowser, who has Bomb Cannon, and Gold Shy Guy, who has Gigabomb. The next character is Black Birdo. I won't go into much in detail, as this one is yet again self-explanatory. Just like with Blue Birdo, Black Birdo doesn't have Birdo's Egg, but instead has Bomb Cannon. So I can see Black Birdo having Birdo's Egg and Bomb Cannon as her two skill items. The next character is kinda crazy, but I have my reasoning. Ninja Shy Guy. I stated in the High End Skill Items Part 1 Explain video that Ninja Shy Guy has Boomerang because of the use of Ninja Throwing Stars, aka Shurikens. However, I have another suggestion for Ninja Shy Guy. And it is an item that regular Shy Guy has. Double Bombs, and this is my reasoning. Ninjas also use a weapon, well it's not technically a weapon, called Smoke Bombs to become more stealthy than they are. The next character is a coin box driver who should have had a different item based on a previous character and why that character should have had the item. So he too can have two skill items. Kamek. Kamek can be based off a wizard or a witch, just like with Peach Halloween and Rosalina Halloween. So basically, Kamek, Peach Halloween, and Rosalina Halloween are the Nintendo versions of Harry Potter. Kamek has his own broom, specifically called the Kamek Zoom Broom. So because of that, and because of the Zoom and Zoom Broom, he could have both Coin Box and Dash Ring, for the same reasoning as Peach Halloween. This next one is just self-explanatory. However, this one has a lot of details to it. This is the second of the two cat characters that doesn't have the Super Bell. So he too could, should have the two skill items. Meowzer. When we saw that Meowzer has Coin Box, we were all confused and disappointed that Meowzer has Coin Box and not Super Bell for one specific reason. Let me play you the clip. Because of that clip I just showed, that is why Meowser should have had Super Bell instead of Coin Box. But since he has the Coin Box, it's Nintendo. What are you going to do about it? So on top of Meowser having Coin Box, he can also have the Super Bell as well. And speaking of what are you going to do about it, I have what are you going to do about it merch on my shop as well as the now official NateDog19 avatar on merch as well. These products are available unlimited, so you have plenty of opportunities to pick these products. And speaking of being stealthy with double bombs, Pink Ninja Shy Guy can also have an assortment of bombs as a skill item, preferably Bomb Cannon on top of his skill item Giant Banana. And I stated Bomb Cannon because Bomb Cannon is a step up from double bombs, and I stated double bombs for Ninja Shy Guy, and I don't want to double up on ninjas with double bombs. 
The next character is the final Birdo character that doesn't have Birdo's egg. So that means that the re reasoning is yet again self-explanatory. White Birdo. Just like with White Yoshi, White Birdo has triple mushrooms and not Birdo's egg. So she can also have Birdo's egg with triple mushrooms. The next character is the recently added original driver that hadn't appeared in a Mario Kart game in 19 years after his Mario Kart debut, which is Mario Kart Double Dash, Petey Piranha. Petey Piranha's main item is Boomerang, which I have a really good explanation why Petey has this item. Not only does Petey have Boomerang, but he can also have the Bomb Cannon, and this is my reasoning. In Super Mario Sunshine, Petey Piranha's debut game, he can shoot ink out of his mouth. I was originally going to say Fire Flower because of him breathing fire in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, that was only in one game. Ink shooting was not just in Sunshine. It was in Mario's Sports Mix as well, so I had to give him Bomb Cannon instead of Fire Flower. The final character happens to be the final character in the character roster prior to Exploration 2023, before we get to the Mii outfits. But, as I stated before, I am not including the Mii outfits, as the Mii outfits don't feel like they need to gain an extra item. And that final character is Larry Wintertime. His main item is the coin box. But, what if he also has the Ice Flower? Since he is called Larry Wintertime, I can totally see him have Ice Flower, because it gets so cold in the winter. And since Larry Wintertime debuted in the Holiday 2022 tour, which debuted at GBA Snowland, Snowland is filled with snow, and snow is very cold. So there we have it. Those are the 29 drivers that could have two skill items. If this video does well, and more drivers get released, I might do another part, because new tours are released once every two weeks, and there might be a chance of a new driver in the tour. Before I end the video, I just want to thank you all for helping me hit 1,000 subs on YouTube. And to say my thanks, I am doing a 1,000 subscriber special where I am doing a Q&A, which that video will be after the high end skill I'm explained part two. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.